Hey there, YouTube. Scott Stevens here. How you doing this morning? Getting an early start on the play today. Welcome to another edition of MLB The Show 23. Today, I'm going to do two different things. First of all, I'm, I'm going to continue what we started yesterday on the team affinities, because I want to finish those, as you can see, 6%. 3% and 3% is uh, what I have done. But there's a quicker way to do it, I found last night. It actually allows us to, uh, allows you, us, we, me, um, to work on three or four different things at the same time. So here's, here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to play mini seasons. All right, let me show you going to get into mini seasons and i've been wanting to play this mini season so um it works out if you come into mini seasons and you come one of the uh you get vouchers as they have a team affinity themed season and you can repeat it as you can see down the bottom there team affinity season one never expires there's 10 goals you can earn a minimum of 15,000 experience and 10 reward packs but here's the cool part when you come over to programs team affinity when you come down here where is it here it is right here mini seasons voucher exchange so you have five that you can exchange for 20,000 points in the uh, team affinity program or one for 4,000 points you really don't get a bonus if you do five at a time just makes it a little bit quicker for you to uh, trade them in but 20,000 points for five that's pretty good so you could actually since it's repeatable you could actually do everything the entire team affinity based on playing mini seasons not to mention the cards that you get here we got jim rice and uh, joe carter out of that first pack so if you look down here henchman missions we have uh there's joe carter right there if you get the 200 uh pxp with him you get 3500 team affinity points we also got jim rice 3,500. So by using these players in your lineup while playing mini seasons, you work on team affinity in several different ways, three different ways, actually. And in the NL East, we got, uh, who did we get? Tony Perez, which he's already started work on his, and uh, Chase Utley. So those guys are in my lineup right now, as I'll show you right here. So you can actually work on three different things at one time, which is kind of cool. So you can see my lineup. There's Jim Rice, Joe Carter, playing center field. And, oh, also these right here. Let me show you this. While you're doing these, you also have these down here, your team build missions. Right, we did the Orioles already. I think I did that off camera yesterday. When you have the Red Sox, the Yankees, and every time you reach 2,500 PXP, you get another 5,000 team affinity points. So, um, what I'm going to do is until I have a full squad of these players here, which I will eventually, um, just going to do the team build missions for additional points. So, we're actually working on multiple different things to get through the team affinity a little bit quicker. Hey there, Godspeed. How you doing? Wow, you're up early. It's like 6 a.m. in L.A., right? <laughs> Thanks for joining the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Oh, you got a big day today, WrestleMania. WrestleMania is today. So this allows you to work on several different aspects of the team affinity at the same time, which in theory should help us get through them much much quicker so that's what i'm doing so we're going to start we got the team set the lineup start in this mini seasons it really uh it looks like a cool thing 
We'll find out soon enough. But we're going to do the Team Affinity. So everything that we do is uh, affiliated with the Team Affinity. So when every team in the league, there's an eight-team league we're about to join, every team will be cons uh, put together consisting of Team Affinity players. He's asleep as me, Kim. How you doing, Kim? Thank you for joining the stream. Appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a good time. I don't blame him. Six o'clock sleeping. Can't blame him at all. Did you guys went to uh what did you did you went to SmackDown last night, I think you said. All right, so uh let's get started here. This is gonna be interesting. I have not played many season at all. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, Kim. Glad to hear you're doing well as well. All right, we're going to start the season. All right, where are we at? How do you start? All right. I held the button. Would you like to start the season over? Okay, no. All right, now I don't even know how to start it. All right, this is stupid. I mean, how much uh, hold to restart the season? I don't want to restart the season, but I haven't started it, so I'm going to restart it again. Click yes. Nothing's happening. What's going on? says Team Affinity never expires. Now, I watched a guy playing Classic Mode last night, or uh, many seasons last night, so I know it works. What the hell's going on? Many seasons. Start, start, start. Okay. Nothing's moving up or down. Okay, so hold, restart the season. I haven't even started a season yet, so let's see our goals. These are the goals. All right, there, there. Okay. There. I, I guess 18th time is a charm. We automatically generate the best squad for this mini season. Best based on. Don't worry, you can edit each position. So I just wasted all that time putting my roster together. Okay, great. What is this? Now, why would I want Jim Rice on the bench? Oh, they fucked my shit all up. I need these guys in the lineup to collect their stuff here. So, let's see. 92-85. Julio Rodriguez has no business being up here. Put Jim Rice up there. That's a secondary position, so he's good. All right. Let's see. Joe Carter. Oh, come on, man. I just wasted all that time putting my roster together. All right, we need Joe Carter. Hey there, Floyd. How you doing, man? Thanks for joining the stream. Hope you're doing well today. There's Joe Carter. All right, so we got uh, Joe Carter... And I want Red Sox here because I want to work on the team thing. Damn, man. Mm -hmm. All right, wait a minute. We got Tony Perez, Chase Utley. Chase Utley's already at second base. Okay. Not too bad, Floyd. I'm doing well. Thank you. Glad to hear you're doing good as well. All right, so I need to sub this. Do we have a Red Sox guy? I know it's not. Uh... I already set my team up, and now I realize that you can't beforehand. All right, we got Tony Perez, Chase Utley. All right, we need a, uh, a Red Sox second baseman. Yeah, I hear you, Floyd. It's uh it's warm down here. 
in uh, in Tampa. Actually, it's quite nice right now, but it'll get worse as the day goes on. All right, we got Raphael Devers at second. We're going to leave uh, Rutschman at catcher because we don't have a Red Sox guy. All right, now we're looking for any Red Sox to put in the DH spot because we're working on their team building mission. I don't know what happened to the filter button. There used to be a filter. Stormed in Michigan, hot in L.A. <laughs> That's what I love about this. I get weather reports from all over the country. <laughs> hot in L.A., stormy in Michigan. Right now it's quite nice here in Tampa. It's uh, I think it's about 71 degrees. It's going to get hot later on today. It's always hot in L.A. Oh, God. Look at that. I got to go through all this fucking shit to find a Red Sox that I may not even have. There used to be a filter. And there used to be used to be able to flip. There's a guy. Used to be able to flip through the pages with the buttons here. Can't do that anymore either. Sometimes upgrades are not bad. Now let's see how they butchered my pitching rotation. Yeah, see, I got uh, east, east. No, I wanted my uh, pitching rotation to be all east with, uh, I got a Red Sox. Yeah, Corey Kluber there. I also got a James Paxton. All right, now my bullpen. Let's see. Oh, God, they butchered Kenley Jansen. He's going to be my closer. Uh... Oh, that's cool. I had that game, Floyd. I, I, I loved that game. That was that was a very good game. Heat 5. All right, this is... Uh... Yeah, L.A. Knight's a funny guy. <laughs> yeah. He is. Here's an East reliever. I like him. I don't know why. I think he's got... He's got some, some kind of... I guess it's... Uh, he's got some kind of charisma. This guy's an Astro, so we don't really need him. We need East. AL East, National League East, whoever. St. Louis, yeah, see these guys. Red Sox would be nice, but East is all we need. There's a Met. He's an NL East. And Yankee. Yeah, see, I don't like, they used to be able to flip through the pages quicker. Hopefully they're going to put that back because that's just not good at all. Okay. All right, so this is our team. Now we got to fix our lineup again. God damn, I already did this shit. All right, so, and I did it off camera so you guys wouldn't be bored watching this shit. 65, 67. So Chase Utley is my leadoff guy. Joe Carter's batting second. My contact. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got to go with Adley for contact. Yep, Floyd, yep. All right, power. David Hamilton doesn't even have anything. Just put him at the bottom. 98, 93, 50, 76. Jim Rice looks... Yep, Jim Rice is going to be your power guy. I hope you can edit your team throughout the season when uh, we get new guys to add in. All right, where's Tony Perez? Yeah, we'll put him here. All right, so this should be good. And our, whoops, our pitching. I do not like this new layout at all. All right, we got, uh, that's Garrett Cole. We got Red Sox in there. I don't know if we have... Um, I'm guessing we got to go in the order of the rotation. 
All right, so let's go. We got our team. Oh, no, no. What's going on now? Oh, please don't make me do this again. No, I don't want to start the season over. We just did this. What the hell is going on here? I'm about to get fucking pissed. If I have to reset my lineup again, I am going to be not happy. Yeah, I got Mike Trout, but he's uh He's a um he's a California. He plays for the LA Angels in the West. And right now I'm working on the East. So he he can't be in my lineup. I need East guys to collect points for the East. I'm really not understanding this. What the hell is the problem? There we go. Play now. Is my roster still the same? Please let it be the same. Okay, it's the same. Okay, so how do I get back now? Oh, God. Okay, play now. All right. Welcome. Use left to scroll through your recent and upcoming games. Okay, so we have... We're in 83... They're in 85. New subscriber, BBG. Thank you, BBG, for subscribing. Also, thank you, David Ortiz, for subscribing a little while ago. Thank you, guys. All right, so the Cats are in 85. I'm in 83. It says I'm number one. They're number two. I don't know how that's possible. All right, so this is a two-game set. Home, okay. Home against the Pinheads. <laughs> okay, two games set with the Pinheads. Then um, at the Whales. Two games set at the Whales. All right. Okay, so I scrolled through. Okay, let's see. L1, you can check standing, season stats, and goals. Okay. Finishing the top four to qualify for the playoffs. That's cool, Floyd. Good luck. Hope you get some good players and good victories. All right. So here's a look at the standings. Right now we're at the top of the standings. We haven't played a game yet. Let's take a look at the teams. We have the Miami Hurricanes. That's me. The Cairo Cats. The Liechtenstein Whales. Lima Lemors. Lemurs. London Lords. New Orleans Pinheads. <laughs> what a stupid name. The Soul Singers and the Tokyo, I don't know how to pronounce that name, Kaju, Kaiju. All right, here's League Stats. We don't have anything yet. There's goals. We're not worrying about that. We're just playing. So next game, hold to play next game. All right. My squad is managed. Global Baseball League. We're going to play it on Rookie because my team sucks right now. Oh, I can choose the stadiums, huh? All right. Let's see what we have for options. We have created stadiums, which I have not done any of. Yeah, let's check out some of these new stadiums, these new created stadiums. Because I don't think I can do any of the classics yet. I can't because you have to play the Negro League storylines to unlock the classic stadiums, which I think that's kind of bullshit. I'm going to play it. Just not right now. All right. So let's, uh, all right, we'll start. I guess you can play in any stadium you want. So let's start with uh, Wagon Man Stadium. And let's see, randomly, I'm going to choose random year and dates. Let's see. All right, September. One o'clock. One o'clock game in September. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to work through our five-man roster starting rotation. Here's our lineup, and let's go. Time to get into the first mini season. These games are three innings. Hello, 
fellow baseball fans, and welcome. Diamond Dynasty Baseball coming your way on the show. It's Cairo going up against Miami. First Two games set. At you right after the break. All right, yeah, these games are three inning games, so they should go pretty quickly. Which makes it, it's going to be a little more difficult to get the uh, points so for the guys. Set and getting to start, Garrett Cole. What do you got on him, Chris? Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity, and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to Cairo. keep the side closed and hit the ball the other way. The Cairo they Cats. They're not ready to pull the trigger. The fastball will beat them. Brandon Lau leading things off and takes a strike. Three inning games are pretty quick, Next offer, but it's allowing us to work Those on the team affinity in three different trigger, levels Swings at and the same time, which is cool. So that should help us get through a little quicker. Up to the dish. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First and the cool thing is misses. the themes. Chris, the GBL is different for a lot of reasons. And one of those reasons is having only eight teams in the league. How does that impact these teams? Well, I think it changes a lot of things for these hitters. Changes a lot of things for these hitters. Like what? Explain, man. Talk to me. Most obvious difference is you get really used to seeing these other pitchers, and it's not like they're running through a pitching book with 30 different teams anymore. Oh, thank you for explaining that. A yeah. right little field. bit of a delay there. <laughs> Got to the prod it out of them. So who does it help more, the pitchers or the hitters? I think it helps the hitters because they become more familiar with the pitcher's stuff. The shortened schedule, it doesn't help, though, and that cuts into the amount of it. Starting pitchers are only going to go about two innings. And it's even up. In 2022, okay. Eric Cole set the Yankee single season strikeout record with 257 punch outs. Pretty amazing mark for that historic franchise. That is because that means Ron Guidry never reached that number. Catfish Hunter, one of the two of the more iconic pitchers in Yankees history. That's interesting. Gets a piece. And stays alive. So I guess we'll work our way through the um, all of the minor league stadiums on this mini season. That's Next cool. Misses, and that's ball three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Onto the bottom of the first, no score. Oh, that sucks, Floyd. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Shane McClanahan. How about a scouting report on him? All right, Shane McClanahan's on the bump for the Cairo Cats. Here's Chase Utley making his debut. Hey, I don't see a name there. I'm going to guess that might be Jorgen. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. What a way. Batting second. No left field. So up next, Joe Carter. BBG3. Oh, hey. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Here's Joe Carter. He's making his Hurricanes debut here in many seasons. And that's in there for strike one. Shouldn't have let that go. And a curve misses outside. Just missed. That's interesting, Floyd. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, O2 count. Much appreciated, BBG. Thank you for the subscribe as well. Joe Carter with the first hit in many seasons. And that should help him work on his uh, points as well. Adley Rutschman. And the hands just continue to go to first and he saved. Rutschman has, uh, he's in that five day supercharge right now. Get to the gap. There you go. Run, Joe. Carter's going to hit third. He may try it. Try and score. He should. All right. He'll score. All right. 
Kings take their first lead in many seasons. Another clutch run scoring it back. All right, here's Jim Rice. So good in these situations. Making his hurricane debut as well. His resume speaks for itself. Jim Rice in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something oh, I got to the Floyd. right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good Cairo Cats have the their bullpen active already. On that base hit. Two and zero. Oh. Rice is looking for a fastball here. Got it. Swung on, belted. Back belted. There. High and deep. And Gone. Jim Rice. Look, fastball got fastball. They boost their lead. It's three nothing. Went home run. No replays on this, huh? That's all right. Three hundred and eighty-four foot shot. Jim Rice, his first at bat with the Hurricanes. He goes deep. That's the exact definition. Oh, I guess. The ball where it's I guess replays are automatic then, and in, in, the in many seasons, that's okay. Tristan Casas. Ah, I see Floyd. So the Canes take a three to nothing lead. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. This guy's just in the lineup to work on the Red Sox Still team building points. Here the inning. Oh, look at the behind the back. Flip to first. That exists. Third baseman. Two outs, Raphael third Devers. Baseman. Devers, I don't think should be batting below Cass. I might have to fix my lineup there. Solid shot up the middle for a base hit. And that extends the inning. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Yeah, I need to bump Devers up one spot. Here's Tony Perez. He's hitting 500 in his limited time with the Hurricanes. And now it's going to be in the air out towards right center. All right, good first inning, though. Mullins makes the catch, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 3-0. Jim Rice, deep opposite field, and the Canes lead the Cats 3-0 after one. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. Stepping in the long ball threat, Giancarlo Stanton. Well, Gary Cole, 14 pitches, and he's tired already. That's strike one. I got to get my bullpen going here. Henley Jansen is the closer for now. And who else? Felix Batista, he's an Oriole, isn't he? Yeah. Merkin, what? I don't know. Is he a Red Sox? Nope. I don't think we have any other Red Sox in the bullpen. Nope. All right, that's fine. Oh, one down. Stanton, the guy oh, the capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he One can ball. be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. And a ball in two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. Yep, he's getting tired, I know. He takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have Oh, yeah, that's cool, Floyd. Damage. Nelson Cruz in the box here lets that one go for a ball. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. Oh, that just misses. And it's two and two. So Garrett Cole does not appear to have 30 pitches in him. Slider got him for a strike three. It's his fourth strikeout. 23 pitches. He's not out of energy yet, but he's close. 
Sims was winning it. That makes sense. That makes sense, Floyd. And that one fouled off. Adley Rutschman is one of seven catchers to be taken with the first overall pick in the draft. The first, Steve Chilcott, 1966. He never made the majors, and worth noting, the Get over there. two overall pick in that draft, Reggie Jackson. Sneaks through, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. It does. Over that one. Smash he that was through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Oh, that was one way inside. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. He's out of energy. All right, we'll let him try and finish this batter. Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates when he went to Houston. Everything changed. More four seamers and more reliance uh, on the breaking ball. This looks like extra bases. It does. Get it in. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double. Second and third now. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the All team right. needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Bring in. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you Jansen's going to come in first. You did at, the plate. You trusted your hands at all you times for right now. He's an 83. Straight to it. That's great we want to uh, work on that Red Sox team building until we get their 2,500, and then we'll move on to the next team. You'll want. That's cool, Floyd. Sounds like a plan. At third, Franco. At second, with two gone. Yeah, let's see. Let's go slider. And a pitch. Got him. Third right. out. Josh Fleming into the game. Now, just trying to keep this one close here. And All right, here's Christian Arroyo. Has a chance to fight back into the game. The right fielder. That's oh, cool, Floyd. They're fun. They're definitely fun. A little bit out in front of that one. Well, on paper, I've been to Indy. I've been to Daytona a few times. I'm not a real big racing fan, but, but I've been. And they're fun. They are definitely fun to go to. Now at the plate, David Hamilton. Outfield playing pretty shallow. They should be. He's he's weak. Roll to short could be two. Oh, I thought that was gonna get through. He beats it. It's a fielder's choice. Hamilton's got a little bit of speed on him. The ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Chase is 0 for 1. First game here for the Miami Hurricanes in the Global Baseball League. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat. Very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort runner, of a runner, point. Runner. To first, and he breaks for second. Oh, to geez, second, great. and he's out. <laughs> She's not the only one, Floyd. Line drive. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. I've never been to a rally race, Godspeed. Hey, welcome back. All right, two innings into books. Kane's up 3 nothing. Henley Jansen going to try and nail down the save here for Miami in the opener of the Global Baseball League season. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Here's a fun fact for you, Boo. Curacao won the Little League World Series in 2004 with 11-year-old Jerks and Profar starting on the mound against the U.S. in the championship game. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Lau at the plate. That one pulled foul. Next pitch is inside. Ooh, just missed. 
Yeah, that would be cool, Floyd. If you can get down there near them, they're, I heard they're pretty nice. Right I've never met any racers. He'll do it himself. But I've heard for the most part they're pretty cool with the fans. And now Bobichet, over one so far. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Oh, Next one is off the plate. Mm, and he didn't the chase. One and one. And nice a pitch. There. Beautiful location. All right, let's go. Uh, let's give him the two-seamer. Next offering is fouled back. Got him. Canes get the opening day victory. It was, GB. All right, so the Canes are 1-0. and Kenley Jansen's the player of the game. He gets his first save. Garrett Cole gets the victory. Miami's player of the game. Offensively, Jim Rice. Thanks, Godspeed. One for one with a two-run homer. Adley Rutschman one for one with an RBI double. Joe Carter one for one and Raphael Devers one for one. Canes beat the Cairo Cats three to nothing. Yeah, that's like I said, I've never met any racers, Floyd, but I've heard they have a pretty good relationship with their fans. But, you know, everybody has bad days, so you never know. Like when I met Ed Bell for that day. What a fucking dick he is. All right, Garrett Cole gets the win. Kenley Jansen the save. Hurricanes three. Cairo Cats nothing. It says none under the Cairo Cats name. That's good. Glad to see uh, San Diego Studios is all over that. Can't even write the name Cats on there. Good Lord. All right, so now we got a Charisma pack. All right, I don't know who that is. Okay, so let's see now. We uh, we're working with the Red Sox mostly. See their thing is repeatable. We need twenty five hundred. We got nine seventy nine, so that's good. Uh, we got some with the Yankees. They're getting close, and the Blue Jays have started those. Uh, Joe Carter got twenty points. He needs two hundred. Jim Rice got forty five. He needs two hundred. So so you see all these things we're working on at the same time, and they're all team affinity related. And you do it through the seasons, uh, many seasons. So it's it's very cool. You're working on multiple things at the same time. Uh, let's see. The Phillies are getting there. Perez got 10. So he has 65 of his 200. And Chase Utley has 20. So those are cool. Good way to, to do it here. All right. Second game. Let's take a look at the standings. Who's 1-0? The Hurricanes, Lemurs, the Lords, and Kaiju. They're all 1-0. and The Cats, Whales, Pinheads, and Singers are all 0-1. <laughs> the Pinheads. All right, so game two. Let's get to it. My team sucks. We're going to play on Ricky for the time being. And we can change stadiums every season. That's cool. That's cool. Hold on one second. If you don't mind, I want to get me a little more coffee. We got... Get off to an early start today. I plan on streaming for at least three or four hours. We'll see how the day goes. But I want to play into this many seasons as much as possible today. The Devils are playing tonight. Big game. They're all big games right now. Only seven left in the season. And, uh, hell, I can't for the life of me remember who we're playing. Oh, yeah, we're playing the Blackhawks tonight in Chicago, 8 p.m. start Eastern time. Chicago, I believe they're the worst team in the NHL, so we need two points tonight. Devils are one point behind the Hurricanes. Carolina has one game in hand, and we are now three points ahead of the Rangers. They lost in overtime last night, so they got one point. Mountain Dew School, Mountain Dew School, but, I mean, it's... 20 after 9 here, so still still coffee time for me. All right, we're going to play this one at Blue Ridge, Blue River Stadium. We're going to randomly choose the month and the time, so let's see. June. 
11 a.m. All right. And, yep, see, we, you have to work through your rotation. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, third coffee got sweet. Yeah, I'm, uh, I got up at six, so I think this is my fourth or fifth. All right. Let's see. Uh, yep. Oh, I wanted to fix my lineup. I wanted to bump somebody up one. That's okay. All right. Who are we going up against? Mike Mussina. Yep, same as here, Floyd. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Cairo going up against Miami. The Cats and the Canes. First pitch coming. All right. Just Luis Severino trying to kill a hangover. I don't blame you, man. Out there having a good time. That's like a once in a lifetime trip that you're on. Time staying back. You got four, five wrestling events. At the plate and takes high there. That is, that's like a once in a lifetime trip. Next pitch no. is inside no. and it's 2 and 0. Oh. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Severino and not to mention the, the expense. Bonnie and I stay in a lot of at hotels the plate, but it's a foul ball. For, the, um, for the art shows that we go to for her. So I know how much Severino. hotels cost, and they're expensive. You guys are out there for, what, a week and a half? That's got to be an incredible hotel bill. We have, I mean, three nights for us, and we're running about a grand. Or more sometimes. For three, four nights. Usually four nights is the longest we ever stay. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Oh, there you go, Floyd. Yeah, not cheap, Godspeed, I know. Like I said, four right nights is usually our longest stay, and we're usually running around a 1,000. They're out they're of control. Grand. And down here, they take advantage of you because yeah, it's spring break, spring training. Bobichette stands in now and watches strike one. Kane's looking to improve to 2-0 and o here in the Global Baseball League. Bobichette, second round pick, 2016. And again, While working on the good team affinities. Dante played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado. That's, this, is, uh, this is very cool here. Big league seasons, and Dante could swing. We have four yeah, different ways we're working on team affinity ball. as we play the mini seasons. I think that was just Very a case cool. of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a change. Oh, yeah, Floyd, right. they're, they're ridiculous. It is. It is, but, uh, yeah, they are ridiculous down here, especially this time of year with spring training. Of course, it's over now, but spring training, spring break. I mean, it, the hotel. He is one of the top pitchers in the American League. The hotel that we uh, paid like 150 a night for last month, we just paid 300 a night for. Like two weeks later, it's ridiculous down here. I don't know why they're showing Tony Perez. That wasn't his fault. It was over his head, right? Yeah, that was Chase Utley. Thanks, Chase. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. That one's in there, 0 1. Singy, we think of John Carlos Stanton with the big time power as a baseball player, but he was actually recruited to play football at USC. Judge off of first with two away. Oh, right down on the oh, back of his leg. Like a superhero, so that doesn't surprise me at all. And one thing about him is we talk about guys like Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton in the same conversation in terms of exit velocity. And I like how the conversation. Continues over the course of a couple of pitches with a little break in between for the pitch. We'll go to the bottom of the first. That's about the only zero, thing I've, zero. the only good thing I can say about the commentary, because it is terrible. But I, I kind of like how they do that. All right, here's Chase Utley. Got away with that error in the top of the first. He does not have a hit in his brief Hurricanes career. 
Uh, is it going to drop? It does. He's got one now. Now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough. For the Joe opponent. Carter, he's also 0 so for Miami. Joe Carter. Right back up the middle, it's through. All right, good start. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. I think that quite often, Floyd, with a lot of the challenges I do on these games. Adley Rutschman up now. Nope. Judge has it sized up. Tag. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second. Uh oh. To third. Ooh, that was close. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Two on one. There's Jim Rice. He's over Miami as well. Oh no, he's not. Hey, wait a minute. He had a home run yesterday. Why is his batting average zero? He had a home run in the previous game. That one pushed foul. How is his batting average zero? He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Well, they need to fix that. That's fucked up. Oh. Owen Tuzzi waves at that one. Activity in the bullpen. Thomas Hatch getting loose out Yeah, that's not right. A left-hander also throwing. Supposed to have stats. Ground ball right side could be two. Come on, run it, Jimmy. We got nothing. First and second, no outs. We got nothing. I don't like the way the stats aren't uh, accumulating here in the league. All right, Kenley Jansen and... Yeah, I'm not liking that at all. The stats aren't accumulating from game to game. It's a league. You're supposed to have a, a accumulating statistics. Rice hit a two-run homer yesterday. Rice trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. The catcher number 35. Oh, you got to have some good receivers there, Floyd. This guy wanted the best contact. That sounds like the key to that mission. Outstanding on the defensive end. Challenge. In there in its own one. I'm impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the bat expands. Next offering is in for a strike. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Here's Wander Franco. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Got him. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact somewhere. He's out of energy. 25 pitches. Still second base and be safe. Let him finish the at bat. Here in the second. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses, and the count is two and two. It's a good take. All right. Nice. And good work there as he gets a one two. New arm out of the bullpen, Josh Fleming. Bringing in the lefty with the lefty. All right, we're scoreless going into the third. <laughs> That's funny, Floyd. <laughs> Not a good way to uh, solidify a spot on the roster. Dropping passes. There's a nice shot up the middle. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I don't like this. The, the statistics are not accumulating through the, the, uh, the Global Baseball League season here. I hope they fix that. Ah, damn it. 
and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Johnson, which Johnson, Floyd? Uh, Kelvin, I'm guessing Kelvin Johnson. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Perez hits one high and deep toward right center. One hops the wall. Tony will get a double. And he's in with a stand-up double. All right, so the inning is still alive. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted yes, to do cool. with that pitch. Yes, that's cool. Calvin Johnson, I remember him. He was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Calvin Arroyo. Oh, oh Perez should try and score. First and third he didn't. Two out. Ah, should have tried to score. Tony, come on now. So two down. Here's the shortstop at the play. David Hamilton. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Get through. Now we'll ah, to right base, at him. But he's got it to end the inning. We'll move to the third. All right, no two score. complete, no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And it's Rafael Devers. Okay, in the box. so I need to. Uh, it's not a safe situation, but I want Kenley Jansen in for the Red Sox. Kenley Jansen into the game. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. Team building points. Better ones in the game, I'd say. He has a save and no ERA. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. They say he went. They say he went? Okay. Jansen throws one pitch and he's in the red. on the swing. 0-2 now. Righty to the plate. Misses oh. inside. Oh, that was right in the corner. To the right side, Utley handles. Tosses to first, and Devers is set down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Cedric Mullins in the box now. Takes strike one. The next pitch misses. Ball one. And a swing to miss. One ball, two strikes. All right, nice slider here. Should do him in. Right side, yep. hard hit. Under we'll take it. Collects. On to first. And they get Mullins for the out. Now batting. And now it's Brandon Lau. Brandon. He's 0 for 1. Wow. Henley Jansen's been one of the best closers we've seen over the course of the past decade. He's out of energy already. Nine pitches, he's out of energy. Jesus. And he's down 0-2. We'll as let him finish this it. batter. Henley is also the Dodgers' all-time saves leader with an even 350. Two down, nobody on. And takes low for ball one. One ball, two strikes. Nine pitches is all he's got. Short. Get it over there. He is safe. A nice job oh, that's it. right. It's April Fool's Day today. Same to you, Godspeed. Happy April Fool's Day. I forgot all about that. All right. So he's got to come out. Bautista will come in. Felix Bautista will take over here. Making his hurricane debut. In there for strike one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Owen oh, oh, as he waves at that one. Swing and Got him. All right, we go to the bottom of the third. Kane's going to try and pull out a win. One hit, one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the we got top of the order Chase up. Utley. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed I need to get pitcher. somebody up in the bullpen just in case. Stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Fleming, back to work. There you go. Good start. So maybe they don't, uh, the stats don't accumulate on, on here. Maybe they have, they have stats for the league. 
to look at, so we'll have to check that. Utley, oh man, dude. The ball hardly got away from him. Bone headed move. And now, Joe Carter. Lifted in the air. And of course, he's going to get one to drop. Nope, okay. A nice grab out there. Two away. Chase Utley might have run us out of the inning. Oh, way late. Offering is fouled off. Out to short. Oh, he gloves it over to first. Nice uh, for the out. Extra innings we go. This no score. Welcome back. And now big Three, number 99, four, Aaron Judge. Right here. Aaron Judge. And we start with the runner on the second. Offering is not close. Ground ball to the right side. Down the line, and it's foul. Let's see if we can jam him. Got him. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. One for one with a single so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swings through that. Ooh, that was a little closer to the center of the plate than I wanted. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Got him. Struck him out. That's the second out. Striking out Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton back to back with a runner at second. Fantastic start here for Batista. Cruz swings through it for strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's going to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Runner leads away at second. Swing Got him. Beautiful inning. Batista yes, strikes right out the side. Hard. And the Canes have a chance to win it in the bottom of the fourth. The new pitcher in the game, Wandy Peralta. Jim Rice digs in now. Worked to walk at his first trip to the plate. Listen, it says that he grounded out in the first at bat. This guy says he worked a walk in the first round. Wow, the commentary is fucking horrible. Ah, uh, there's a shot. High and deep toward the gap. Off the wall, that's going to bring one in. Jim Rice. Oh, the bottom. That's right, we win. That's a winner. I forgot that was the bottom of the fourth. Jim Rice with the game winner in the Canes. Walk off the Cats and sweep the two-game series. Jim Rice with an RBI. RBI double. Felix Bautista, one in the third innings. Perfect. Struck out four. He gets the win. Tony Perez, one for one with a double. Jim Rice, one for two with a walk-off RBI double. Joe Carter, one for two. Miami downs Cairo in four, one to nothing. Like how they put the uh, Hurricanes logo next to Cairo. Now it's fixed. All right, Batista gets the win. Wendy Peralta takes the loss. It still says none up there. They don't want to put cats, apparently. So there's a lot of things wrong with this game that still need work. That should not. Minor shit that should have been done before release, man. Stupid. All right, so we're focusing on the Red Sox here with the, uh, so they're 1,085 of 2,500, okay. Uh, Yankees are at 2,000, so that's getting closer. 
Carter got 25 points. He's at 45. Jim Rice got 30. He's at 75. Phillies are almost halfway. Nationals at 85. Tony Perez, 85. Utley, 30. So he's now at 50. Okay. All right. So the next game, we are hosting the Pinheads. They are 1-1. One one. Take a look at the standings. Canes are the only 2-0 team in the Global Baseball League. League stats, batting averages tracked across the full 28-game mini-seasons. Okay, so they're not showing up in-game, but that's okay. Earned runs allowed, zero on base slugging. Home runs. Jim Rice doesn't have two home runs. Wow, these stats are terrible. Saves one, Global Baseball League MVP, Eloy Jimenez. Look at this, Eloy Jimenez from the Miami Hurricanes is the leader in the MVP voting right now. He's not even on my team. Wow, they got some serious fuck-ups in this thing here. Hopefully they'll get them worked out. Because Jim Rice doesn't have two home runs. Any? Oh, wait a minute. That's Jim Rice for whatever team that is. Okay, that's not my team. But they're saying that uh, Miguel Cabrera plays for my team and has one home run. But Miguel Cabrera is not on my team. Wow, this thing is fucked. All right, do... Uh... Two of ten goals completed, twelve of twenty-five goals completed. Okay, so we're still working on these, right? Wow, these things are fucked. That's not even funny that it's that bad. All right, next up, the Hurricanes host the Pinheads. They are one and one. And we're going to play this one at Laughing Mountain Park. Randomly choose the month. August. Randomly choose the time. We just did an 11 a.m. game, so we'll do a 1 o'clock game. All right, Garrett Cole, Luis Severino. Oh, see, look at this. Yeah, your bullpen is keeping their back-to-back... Uh, -back yeah, they're getting tired as well. Okay. So that's cool. So you have to be kind of picky about who you use. That's cool. That's cool. Wish they get the stats right. John Means is going to start. Tristan Cassis, 70 power, 53 power. Yeah, Raphael Devers should be above him. Okay. All right, game three in the Global Baseball League. Canes put their undefeated record on the line, hosting the New Orleans Pinheads. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the New Orleans Pinheads taking on the Hurricanes. Just about set to go. And out of the hill in this one, John Means. What do we need to know here? Well, you always know what to expect with this guy on the mound to start the game. He can be really good at times and turn in some real excellent efforts. For me, it'll tell us a lot to see how he's attacking the strike zone and pitching aggressively or not. If he's doing that from the jump, I think he'll be fine in this one. Talk about stating the obvious. Is two and zero. A base hit. Oh, come on. Get into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Get him. Safely into third with a lead off triple. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantages. I'm the home team. Why are they not wearing dark uniforms or gray? They should be wearing gray and purple, not white and purple. We're the home team. Jeff McNeil swings through it for strike one. 
Good contact guy, good defender. Next pitch is outside. Up the middle. Throw it home, throw it home. Why do you play the infield in and then not throw it home? The infield was playing in. Alonso. Right, that makes no sense. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field. And the infield playing in, you get a ground ball and don't throw it home. That makes no sense whatsoever. Chase and perhaps get some weak contact or swing and miss. Good job on both sides. Up the middle. Over to Perez. And that takes care of Alonzo. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Big uh. power. Jorge Soler. First oh, offering misses the mark. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Ground ball up the middle. Over to Perez. Oh. And that is All right, the pinheads get one. So they get one run. Thanks one to hit, incompetency. No one left on. Bottom half. On the part of my infielders, Chase Utley in particular. Starting this one, Tom Here's Tom Glavin. Glavin. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for, for him, it's always interesting to see how he back. utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, <laughs> look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. Way out in He's front really of that. He's going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And that one is lifted in the air. Acuna on the run. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get All right, now Joe Carter's got some stats. He's hitting 667. And when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Joe Carter stands in here. Takes ball one low. I don't know what's going on with this statistics here down the line and that one finds its way through i don't know about going for two hold it up single always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through it's just bigger than your own individual stats richmond's hitting 333 that's uh way behind that way behind drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in he has an RBI. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now the lefty. Be interesting to see what it says for Jim Rice's stats. He should have a homer and three RBIs. Carter dives back in safely. Another move to first. And they're keeping him close. Oh, what are you swinging at? With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Ah, uh, drop. Oh, that was close. Pickoff throw, and he's back in there. That might get through. It does. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled. Jim Rice is hitting 667. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game. Way out in front of that. Homer and three RBIs. All right, so the stats are working now. Okay. I wonder what that was all about. Jesus. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Rice that shit is slow as hell. 77 miles an hour. As well. Wild pitch. Catcher gets a piece. Everybody move up. Yep. All right, good.
I'm not sure, Godspeed. I've been trying to check and see if you're talking about the shift. I think they can't be on the other side of the base. I'm trying to see. If that's what you're talking about, I think they're located right behind the base. Which the new rule they can't they they can be right next to it but not they can't be on the other side of the base that's through that'll bring in two all right Raphael Devers comes up big yeah they can be in back of second base but they can't be on the other side of second base if that's what you're talking about I've been looking at that too and there he doesn't try to do too much now batting Tristan Casas. Just a it drops. This time. It's the not. Okay. That's all right. Canes get it. two, and they take the lead after one. And welcome back. And now it is JT Real Muto. All right. I got to get. Yeah, see, Kenley Jansen's out. He has nothing. All right. Nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. I like the way uh, the energy continues over from game to game. You can't use the same pitcher all the time, which is good. The 1 1. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Here's Austin Riley. This guy with light tower power. First pitch, and he just misses. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw is wild. What in the hell was that? Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. Drops it. That's me. It's going to be a great result more often than not. Out on the warning track. Throws it away. Adam Duvall. God. In the box now. Take strike one. And that one hit to first. Get it home, get it home. Uh, tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. We're going to get him anyway. As they get a run across. And now the DH, David Wright. That one the other way. All right, we're going to go to the bottom of the second. Tied 2-2. Two, two. One run on one base hit, no errors, no one left. Chris this guy's got an ERA of nine. Has checked into the game. Now, now into the game, Joey Meneses. He's the new third baseman. All right, Tony Perez starts Tony off the bottom Perez. of the second. He's hitting 500. The pitch. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Oh, that's cool, Floyd. Always nice when that happens. Picks it up, and that is a big first out. Here's Christian Arroyo. The right fielder. Batting a thousand here in the Global Baseball League. This one in the air right field. That could be trouble. It's down. And he's going for two. He's in there. Oh, oh, he's not. Oh, son of a bitch. Who is that? Acuna. Wow, that was a nice throw. Nice throw. Good arm. Tip of the cap, Ronald. This to center field. Duvall drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one. 
And that ends the inning. We move ahead to the third, tied 2 2. Welcome back. New All inning right. Started. Gene Segura at the plate here. He's hitting 333 means he's getting tired. He still has some energy, but not a lot. Let's see if he can get through a batter. Means back to work. Just missed. Of course, first pitch. Let him finish the at bat. Of course, that could be a mistake. So now one and two. One Just missed. Yep. You know, man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. So the lineup flips over. And now the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, that's cool, Floyd. For one, he tripled in his first trip. Uh, we'll go with Batista. Felix Batista on the pitch out of the one and oh, no ERA. He's the game with the base is empty. And first offering is fouled off. We're going to be, I have a feeling we're going to be deep in our bullpen by the end of this game. Uh, I knew that was going to drop. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. You'll take those blue pits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. Lifted in the air, right field. Makes the catch for the second out. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Now be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Swings through that one. Yes, he can. Acuna leads off first with two down to the inning. The next offering misses. One ball, one strike. That one missed. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. All just right, come on now. Had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring right, position, so big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. The 0-1. And strike nice. two. From a pitcher's nice perspective, pitch. that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. This might be his last batter. And a All right, we that's go to the bottom three. of the third. Soler not happy. We're still tied at two. He's in a tough spot. Jose Alvarado gets the call now, from the pen. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the left Top of the order to start the bottom of the ninth. Chase Utley, he's 0 for 1. Bottom of the third, I'm sorry. Last inning, same thing. And the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Fires to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Oh, boy, we talk about no, how the ball no, is coming no, out of no. a pitcher's hand. Joe no, Carter's no, one for one with a single. Infielder. Wow, really impressive. And it's oh, just, just foul. foul. That was close. Next pitch misses way outside. Come on, Joe. And Let's see there's... some of those late inning heroics you're known for. That was a ball. The throw to first. Close to it anyway. 
That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to Adley Rutschman, he's one for one with a single. Yeah, see, that was a nice sinker below the strike zone. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. First pitch, and that's oh. in for a strike. Now yep, Morano, I held up. The lefty who lights up the radar gun. He features a sinker, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a four-seamer. And the next pitch is way outside. And there's a strike. Really oh, come on. That he's able to front door wow. and back door. That pitch is devastating. Here's a one-two. Now I got to protect. He stays alive. Next pitch misses. It's two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated. There you go. How long it takes to put him away. It gets down. Base hit. And the winning run That'll bring up Jim Rice. Is really easy He's been our surprise. top hitter so far here in the GBL. Stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard. Jimmy's 0 for 1 with a strikeout like today. The, the lefty, the 1 0. Bounced up the middle. No heroics there. The We're going to extra innings here at Laughing three. Mountain Ballpark. And Canes three, and Pinheads tied at two. Back here at the ballpark, JT Real Muto steps in. All right, Batista's out of energy, so we're going to have to bring in Jason Adam. Jason Adam takes over on the mound. Making his Global Baseball League debut, and I got to get some other guys up. Because they are not lasting. Runner at second to start and the, the extra innings. For ball one. I like that rule. Makes the extra innings go Swing quicker. That one for strike one. Games That's end sooner. I am slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. I hope they Next keep that rule permanently. For a strike. Hey. Runs it up nice. to 96 to record the punch out. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. That one hit to right. Arroyo in position. Makes the catch. Two down. All right. Adam Duvall at the play. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. First pitch just misses. Just a bit of fire. At second with two down. Next offering misses. Two balls, Ooh. no strikes. Man, he's not calling those corner pitches for me. All right, we got that one. Next pitch just Ooh. misses. Three and two down. Trying to keep this a 2 2 game here in extra innings. And nice. Swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. All right, we go to the bottom of the fourth. Canes have a chance to win it. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Jim Rice is on second place. Yep, I don't want to replace him. Why would I want to replace him? Devers is one for one with a two-run single. He's been the big man here so far today for the Hurricanes. Can he come through again? 
He will. That'll be down. Rice should score easily, and the Canes improve to three and zero. Crosses the plate, and they walk it off and win it three two. Nicely done. Hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed. Raphael Devers is your player of the game. Two for two with two singles and three RBIs. Jason Adam gets the win. One perfect inning. He struck out two. Thank you, Godspeed. Miami pulls out the four-inning walk-off 3-2 win over the New Orleans Pinheads. They improved to 3-0 on the season. Adams, Adam gets the win. Canes win it 3-2. And let's take a look at our progress here. Anything happening? Red Sox are getting closer. Carter's, let's see, Jim Rice is halfway to his goal, okay. Phillies are at 1,000. Perez is almost at halfway to his, okay. All right, so we take a look at the standings now. The homestand continues, one more against the Pinheads, and then the four-game homestand is over as we visit the Whales next game. Hurricanes are 3-0. and oh. The Lichtenstein Whales are 2-1. and one. One game behind. They don't have games behind in the standings. Winning percentage. Really, winning percentage is not necessary. Should put games back right there. Who cares? All right, hold on one second. Got to get some more coffee. And then we will finish off this homestand. Kane's looking to go 4-0. and oh. Yeah, usually in the standings, you want to have your wins, losses, and then games behind, not your, especially when you have limited columns like that in the game, which I understand that, but make better use of them. Because winning percentage doesn't really matter. Games behind does. All right, so the Canes finish off the four-game homestand with the New Orleans Pinheads. And we're going to play this one at Center City Field, rundown stadium that opened up in 1928, capacity 10,800. All right, randomly choose the month. September. We haven't played a night game yet, so we're going to play a night game. And James Paxton is going to be on the mound for the Hurricanes. And did, uh, yeah, uh, Devers. I got to fix that permanently in my lineup. I don't know if I can or not, though. Not in here. I don't know. We're thrilled to be inside Center City Field. Diamond Dynasty Baseball on tap tonight. It's the Pinheads taking on the Hurricanes. Pinheads are 1 and 2. Canes 3 and 0. Oh. There's your starter James Paxton. In this one, James Paxton. Well, this guy featuring that straight four seam fastball, but off of it throws the cutter. And really, he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the four seam fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the change Good start up. for no, Paxton. Sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially oh, stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Rice makes the, the grab. Game. Two down. <laughs> Here's I gotta say that the uh, the Jim Rice card does not really look like him. On the norm, they do a pretty good job. 
with the scanning and everything. However, they do it for the old time cards. They do a pretty good job of getting them to look like the guys. But the Jim Rice cards, I gotta say, they didn't do a very good job with. Not that they care what I think. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Paxton deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Pete Alonzo's running up my pitch count here. And that got the play pitcher. it, play it. Whips it to first on the nice. Run. That's the third out. We're midway in inning number one. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. I hope Paxton's okay. Welcome back. Normally I don't care, but the um, with the um, pitchers keeping their um, tiredness from game to game, you can't have anybody getting hurt. Here's Chase Utley. Says he's over the season. Sounded good off the bat. Just a regular fly out to left field. Here's Joe Carter. He's hitting 600. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. First offering misses badly for ball one. Misses badly. That's hard hit in the line. Right at him. Is a Cunha to make the grab. Two away down. Here's Adley Rutschman. Have to say, he's one of the six hundred players I've seen with an RBI. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Oh, almost took his head off. Right up the middle. Almost knocked Sandy's head off. Exit velocity there of 112. He rocked that one. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at Here's Jim Rice. Miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing he did it with quick Jimmy's hitting 400 with a homer and three RBIs for the undefeated Hurricanes next pitch has popped up that might drop no nope. it will not and that'll do it scoreless after one And welcome back. Second inning set to go. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Got to get some guys ready here. Ah, uh, okay. The pitch. That's cool. You have to work around your bullpen for tired guys. That's cool. Ball, Just right like real side. life. The flip to the pitcher covering. Lead off man retired here in the This second. is the final game of a four game homestand for the Hurricanes. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Trying to move to 4 and 0. Oh. JT Real Muto in the box right. now. Take strike 1. And that one sliced foul. Second inning here, no score. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. And Real Muto is out. This lineup's going to have to find Baxton's a way pitching a pretty good game here so far. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Might be our best start yet. The box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Off 
Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big time power. Got him. And that will end the inning. All right, we move to the bottom of the second. Of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the third baseman, Rafael Dever. He's hitting 750. Dever. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Foul ball oh. there. A little outside there. That one oh. ran inside, almost got him. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. And Devers hits that one. Duvall sizing this one up. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice Cassis, this, and when the game Cassis, comes, they make the play. Sitting 333. Tristan Casas goes after that one for strike one. That was a terrible pitch to swing at. Next offering is in oh. for a strike. <laughs> Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you get a little extra to the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does seem like he evens it out over the course of a game, though. This one high in the air to left center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. And here's the first baseman, Tony Perez. Tony's hitting 333. And first offering is fouled off. Tried to hold up on that. And the right hander deals. And that one sounded good off here. the bat. Over his head. Perez is going to head to second. And, for second. and that moves the And he's in there. Position with two gone. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a little swing of the bat in this ball game. Now, a lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball. Here's Christian Arroyo. That one pretty well. And trying to keep this inning going. Different on the barrel. It's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra base. That's a nice pitch. Scoring position now. He's hitting 1,000. Lost the first run of the ball game. The 0-1. Line drive. Not anymore. Pitch. Inning over. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, and now Adam Duvall. The center fielder, Adam Duvall. Paxton has pitched very well. He's got no run support. Missed. And he pumps in a strike. One ball, one strike. Just missed. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Swings and misses. And out to a two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling Third you, K for Paxton, and that's it. Down. He's out of energy. David Wright now at the plate. Swanson's going to make now. his Hurricanes he's debut. He's into the game here with the bases empty. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Top of the third, no score. In the air, out to center. Rice trying to get there. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two away. Gene Segura at the plate here. Hey, he's not too bad. I guess he looks like him. I mean, he does look like him somewhat. And that's in there for strike one. Swanson, a 6-3 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, and he works in a slider. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him. him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Welcome back. And stepping in is Kane's trying to win it here. David Hamilton going to lead off as the Hurricanes try and scratch across one for the victory. Up the middle. He's got some speed. He beats it out. Nicely done. All right. Top of the order comes up now. Chase Utley is 0 for 1. Got that one to left. First and second. Nobody out. And the winning run moves up Kane to threatening to put this one away. Here's Joe Carter. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate That's into the game, but right there high, there, fairly deep to center. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging for third. They're going to tag up. He's going to get there without a problem. The now. now he's got to stay out of a double play. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first. Rutschman's one for one with a single. Single here would end the game. Rutschman, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next one misses. Ball two. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Tapped softly on the ground. Here comes the winning run. There's They're going to the try for a double play. They're not going to get it. Canes are going to win the game. Walk it off. He had to make that throw to first to try and get the out, and he did not. And the Canes take advantage of it. With a walk-off double play, <laughs> a walk-off failed double play. So the Miami Hurricanes end the four-game homestand 4-0. James Paxton is the player of the game. Two and a third innings. No runs, no hits. He struck out three. Swanson gets the victory, though. He pitched two-thirds of an inning, struck one out. Tony Perez, one for one with a double. Adley Rutschman, one for two with the game-winning RBI. David Hamilton, one for one. Chase Utley, one for two. Canes beat the Pinheads. one nothing. Sweep the two-game series. And the homestand, four and zero. Oh. Swanson gets the win. Alvarado takes the loss. All right, let's see where we are here. Anything done? A lot of them are getting close. Joe Carter's almost halfway there. Rice is past the halfway point. Tony Perez is past the halfway point. Utley is almost there. Okay. All right, game five. Take a look at the standings. Canes 4-0. The Lichtenstein Whales are 3-1, just a game behind. And we're heading to Lichtenstein for two games. So those are going to be important. I'm not going to worry about the statistics because they're all fucked up. The Whales are a 90 overall. Canes 83. They are 3-1. We are 4-0. And Corey Kluber is going to take the bump for the Hurricanes. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Diamond Dynasty Baseball coming your way on the show. It's Miami taking on Liechtenstein. All right, 
Pete will be back to get this one started after just about set to go. Sonny Gray on the hill. It's Sonny Gray. Or the Whales. Utley's hitting 375 in the Global Baseball League. Oh, we got the dots back. This is an interesting stadium. But also, maybe pause a little bit, hesitate, vary up his times to the plate, and make that hitter inconsistent. Got the whale out there on top of the scoreboard. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Gets it to first. One out in the top of the first. This is a pretty cool little stadium. Joe Carter, the next to hit. Carter's hitting 429. Can untie this game. Yeah, this swing. is a pretty cool little stadium here where Lichtenstein plays. First pitch, not close. Chris, I always have a good time getting the opportunity to broadcast a game at a GBL. Yeah, well, why's that? Popped yeah. up foul territory behind the plate. Why is that? Contreras pulls that one down and a couple of quick outs. That was a good hard fastball. And the Rutschman sitting 571 with two RBIs. Like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Rips it right at the first baseman. End of a half inning of play. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. Back here at the ballpark. Corey Kluber on the mound Corey for Kluber. the Hurricanes making his debut. Stuff. It's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on it. Second time, third time through the order, we see the OPS jump dramatically. Joey Votto in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike because we get to see some of the greatest places in the world. How many leagues send you from London to Lima to Liechtenstein? Well, we're definitely racking up the air miles in this league, and we also get to try some of the best food in the world along the way, so that's another bonus. Foul ball still a one and two count. The best part is the food is always different. We're never ordering the same thing in two different cities. Yeah, except for coffee, and you know I need oh, coffee exactly. no matter what continent I'm on. You and me both, partner. And he deals. See, he's saying Annie yeah. deals, but it sounds like he's but saying you know, Manny Diaz. Not very impressive on the commentary. Blows him up and not really able to do anything with it anyhow. I think if you see that early, then perhaps you can pull those hands a little bit tighter and get nice the play. part of the bat to it. But I'd say overall, you just have to tip the cap on that one. Great execution. To first, and that the home first moving along the quickly today. Two gone. Keep Ryan. Hey. Keep Ryan Hayes. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Kicks and fires. Just misses with that one. Right side. All right, good inning, good inning. Arroyo makes the catch, and that'll do it. We played an inning, no score. Set for the start of the inning. There's Here's Jim the Rice, 333 Rice. average with a homer and three RBIs. Good contact, hits for average, but one of the things I don't know what's going on with the uh, all the dots on the that face. That happened again is. yesterday. Out towards right center field. A little behind that, but I don't think, and yeah, he didn't get all of it. Almost See the white the dots on his face? Pitch. I tried to take a screenshot of it yesterday. No to show uh, San Diego Studio, but it didn't appear on any screenshots, which is very odd. Oh, that one's trouble. Double. See those white dots on the face. 
nice about getting yourself an every screenshot I took it did not those dots did not appear in the screenshot so I don't know what's going on with them kind of do the same thing maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well now batting Tristan Casas foul ball Comes oh. up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Indeed it was. For that strikeout, keep him off balance, send him back to the dugout. Devers, the runner at second with one away. That's Devers hammered hit. toward the gap. Devers headed home. And it's going to be and over the wall, the bound so one hop. Ground rule RBI double for Cassis and the Hurricanes strike first. One nothing. We're gonna have a pitching change. Tony Perez next up at the dish. That's a good pitch. Tony's hitting 500 on the season. One. Fouled off. He was late. Way late. Singy, I spy with my little eye a castle. That, my friend, is Reinerstein's key. Have you taken a tour of the castle yet? I was just noticing right. that out in left center field. Foul Beyond left center field. Right there. Pitches downstairs. Runner at second here, one gone. Kane's leading the Wales one nothing. Swing uh, and a ball popped up. I don't know, it might drop. Nope. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. Out that number is. two. The right fielder, Christian Arroyo. Here's Christian Arroyo. The Royals hitting 750 here in the Global Baseball League. Canes trying to increase their lead here in the second inning. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Action in the pen down there. Matt Bush appears to be getting loose. Helsley getting loose as well. I'm liking this uh, Global Baseball League thing. And uh, the thing I really like about it is how you can use it to work on many different aspects at the same time of uh, Team Affinity and other areas of the game. I don't like how the stats are kind of screwed up, but they can fix that. Overall, this is pretty cool. Second. Here's a speed threat. Tommy Edmonds. Kluber had a good first inning. That one misses. One and oh. Yeah, a foul ball. Here's a one one. And that's ripped for a base hit. That was hit hard. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Solid swing. From... There goes the runner. That one ripped, but foul. Got to get the bullpen up. No, he's not full power yet. Next offering is in for a strike. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, had home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Left-hand hitter waits. 
fights it off, you'll see another. They call him DP, he's and he's got an average size strike zone. Call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. <laughs> Next pitch is popped up. Devers makes the catch. One away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Ooh. Had pretty good timing on it. He's got chicken box. Runner on the goal. Ground ball. Played it perfectly. Why wasn't that a tag? What do you mean no chance at a double play? He was right in front of him. Why didn't he tag him? I mean, he ran right through him. Mark McGuire getting ready to hit. This guy with light tower power. Pitch misses inside. That's ridiculous. That should have been a double play. Here's a swing and a drive. Of course, see? He knew it. Fucker. That'll fire up the dugout, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 2 1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance, and they found a way to fight back big time. You should be upset. He's so good that should have been the end of the inning. And that's exactly what he did right there. That should have been an inning ending double play. Part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. And that keeps the inning alive. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. First offering and it just misses. Wilson Contreras has put together a pretty special career. Multiple times he's been an all-star and a guy that came up in the Cubs system as an infielder. Hey, Vassy. Well, that's cool. Swing and a miss. And a Thanks for joining the stream, man. Hope you're doing well today. And the thing about it is offense is probably what he's most known for coming out of that position behind the dish. And this is a kid that grew up in Venezuela. Favorite player, Miguel Cabrera. And not a bad one to want to follow after in terms of what you can do at the plate. Next offering is down low. How about Wilson and William getting a chance to start and hit back to back? It swing and a miss. All Struck right. That Good was a brutal mistake. McGuire right follows it with a two run homer. In the inning, courtesy of this two run homer. That was a game mistake, though. Two one ball game. We'll return and don't understand a thing. <laughs> Massey doesn't know baseball. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's fun to watch, though. Know that the game just fucked up, and now because of it, I'm losing two to one. We're back to start the third, and there's a new arm on the mound, Devin Williams. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Massey. Here's David Hamilton. He's hitting 250. Canes need to score here in the top of the third. There's a good way to start things off. Right up the middle. Get a runner on, and top of the order comes up next. Chase Utley is 0 for 1. Canes looking to tie this one up after they got screwed. That should have been an ending ending double play. Yes, it is, Vassie. Yep. They love it over there. Utley hits one down the line and left. It's going to drop. And it's over the wall. Ground rule double. That's going to put runners at second and third with nobody out. For Joe Carter. Yep, would have been. It's all right. Come on, Joe. That was 96 miles an hour. How do you get in front of a 96 mile an hour heater? Come on. You're better than that. There you go. I don't know if that's deep enough or not. He's not going to try. All right, one out. Adley Rutschman, 0 for 1 today. Solid contact will tie the game. They're going to walk them, pussies. Oh, that makes sense, Bassie. And that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. All right, we need a hit now. Here's Jim Rice. He's 0 for 1. Come on, Jimmy. Earn your money. 
dangerous at the plate right now. And there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Rice up to bat next. Good eye, good eye. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much. Get through. There you go. Tie game. He's going to have to hold up a third, but that's okay. Jim Rice comes through, and we are even. Run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in this Rafael situation. Devers comes to the plate now. Base is loaded, one out still. A new arm into the game. The righty, Ryan Helsley. Oh, Devers high and deep to right. That's long gone. Out to the concourse. Grand slam, Rafael Devers. 479 foot moonshot. And the Canes take the lead yes, six to two. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. That's cool, Vassy. Oh, it's not over yet, Godspeed. I'm the visitors this this game. But it certainly gives us a nice advantage. Raphael Devers. The ball that far, you know, we're gonna check the numbers. Let's go back to the nerd herd and stack cast. That was impressive. Yeah, wow. I mean, they don't hit 479 a foot bomb. Together to hit a ball like that, and he really showed us something right there. And the Lichtenstein whales play. fall behind six to two. Tristan Casas doubled his first time up. No, Vasi. There's a guy named India, though. I don't have him, but there is a guy named India. Makes the catch for the out. Helsley, a six I don't have him on my team. Features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve. Here's Tony Perez. He's 0 for 1. Fans here in Liechtenstein have quieted down tremendously. Hit it well, but fly out after that grand slam off the bat of Rafael Devers. Ooh, blew it right by him. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Here's your one. Swing and a miss and 102. Tony cannot catch up to it. Oh, and two now. What? Dirt. I didn't swing at that. Bullshit. First, That's all right. The Canes put up a bunch. Thanks to Raphael Devers. Here is you get another look at the Grand Slam home run. Now a 6-2 ball game. He's got chicken pox. I don't know what's going on with the game. All right. And welcome back. It's not a save situation. Joey Votto. What's uh, Kleber looking like? He's out of energy. Okay. That makes uh, the decision a little better. We're going to go with Kenley Jansen. Kenley on here. He's been in two games, has one save, and no ERA. This will be a big win for the Hurricanes if they can hold on. Have a one-game lead on Lichtenstein. In the standings. Next pitch inside, and the count is even, two and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. That's down, one hops off the wall. Good start for the Whales. Second with a leadoff double. But they're down four, so we're not worried. The approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. They got one hit. The next offering misses. One and one. one and if you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Next one off the plate inside. Yeah, that's ball two.
No outs. Runner on second. Got him swinging for the strike. All right. Blue That's good. Express right by his bat for strike three. Now batting key Brian Hayes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Remember when Kenley got a chance to play in the World Baseball Classic as a catcher for the Netherlands in 2009? And you think now he wears number 74 because that is his house number in Curacao. <laughs> Next pitch is outside. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. And the 3-0 finds the zone. I know a slider's a great pitch, but when you've got really good velocity, sometimes you just got to challenge the hitter with that force. Nice. Right-hander kicks deals. Oh, we got the call there. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Singled and scored his first time. On the ground to the left. That should do it. Nice comeback. Kane's put up a lot in the top of the third and come away with a 6-2 win. That increases their lead over Liechtenstein in the standings by two full games. Raphael Devers is your player of the game. Two for two. A double and a grand slam. Corey Kluber gets the win. Two innings. He did give up two runs on three hits. He struck out two. Canes win it 6-2 to two at Liechtenstein. Devin Williams takes the loss for the Wales. And Corey Kluber gets the win. His ERA, though, is at 9. That's not good. 6-2 Hurricanes. I got a show pack. Very good. Let's look at the progress here. 1733 with the Red Sox. Joe Carter, 115 of 200. Joe uh, Jim Jim Rice, 145 of the 200 earned. Getting close on those. Perez is 135, and Utley is at 130. So that's, that's, this is cool. You get to work on all of them at the same time. That's pretty cool. Take a look at the standings. Canes are 5-0 and now. Liechtenstein tied for second, three and two, with London and Tokyo, two games behind. We got one more game at Liechtenstein before we head to Cairo to continue the road trip. Cairo Cats are one and four. One more game here with the Wales first. They're three and two. Canes are five and zero. Oh. And Garrett Cole is going to be on the mound for the Hurricanes. Welcome to one of the smallest countries in the world. This is Wales Park. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Hurricanes taking on the Wales. Wales First Park. Coming your way next. It's a pretty cool little stadium. Just about to get started. And our starting Look at Hunter Green. He's 3-0. and With a 2-1-5 ERA. How can it be 3-0? and They've only played six games. Chase Utley is hitting 400. A little bit swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. And there's a foul. Couple of afternoon games here in Liechtenstein. Oh, uh, way behind. Pushed foul out of play off to the left. Chris, I wonder what coaches in the league say when they first get the schedule for the season. Well, I imagine it's a combination of excitement, hope, and a splash of how in the world are we going to get from Cairo to Seoul to Lima in a few days? The one-two. Fouls that off to the left and we'll Yeah, I again. wonder how they if pick I were in charge, the cities. I think I'd give the schedule to our travel secretary before giving it to the coaching staff. We're not getting to any of these games without that crew. 
If you're a traveling secretary for a team in the GBL, you definitely deserve a raise. Next pitch inside. Three and two. I wonder how they picked the cities to play in, their hotel rooms in the league. What city am I in today? Oh, that's common. Oh, Chase Utley, high and deep to right. Goodbye. Lead off home run by Chase Utley and the Canes take a 1-0 lead. 386-foot shot off the bat of Mr. Utley. You gotta love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count and trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Here's Joe Final Carter. Number two hitter, Joe Carter. Oh, uh, that one hung. Joe after. didn't get all of it, though. Makes the grab one away. That in third. The catcher, number 35. Here's Adley Rutschman. He's hitting 500. He at the top of the game Two RBIs. In terms of defense at the catching spot. Swings That's and last one deep to left center. Trouble toward the gap. High off of the wall. Rutschman's going to have a stand-up double. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after Jim Rice day. Nice to the dish next. He's hitting 375. Now it's going to be Jim Rice. First offering misses the He's got a homer and four RBIs for the Canes. That one, a triple digits. Inside, though. A lot of people are excited about this guy. The second overall pick in 2017 made his debut in 2022. What a fastball he has. This one swung on and hit well. Gives it a right to right. Gone, Jimmy gone. Rice. Opposite so field home the run. Way with that one, and the second of the lead. year. It's three, three 331 foot shot. And the Canes continue to get off to a hot start here. Three nothing on a two run bomb from Jim Rice. the middle I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch but once he did was quick enough to get it in play with some authority he got that up and out of here into so the bushes Rafael beyond right field Devers at the play. here's Raphael Devers and he Ooh, blew and that one right by him yeah, Evers is hitting 714 with a homer and seven RBIs. 39 pitches, 100 miles grand slam more in, in yesterday's game. game. Oh, that's where he hit the grand slam. High and deep to right. That's out of here. Long gone. Onto the concourse again. Rafael Devers, 471 foot shot. His second homer in as many games. He has two way, home runs over 470 game. feet. He is crushing the ball here in Liechtenstein. Canes lead 4-0. you hit the ball that far, you know we're going to check the numbers. Let's go back to the nerd herd at StatCast. That was impressive. Yeah, wow. I mean, they don't hit him much farther than that, boo. Everything's got to come together to hit a ball like Hang that. time of he six really and a half seconds. Right Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Yep, Hunter Green Hunter is Green gone. Will depart, and this is one. Did he get anybody out? David Bednar. He's he got one out. The base is empty. There's now Tristan Casas. Casas. And that one ripped to left. Yelich makes the grab. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, Tony Perez. Tony sitting 333. He can. Do what he loves to do. He can. And he does. It doesn't get him anything though. Canes have a big first inning, four nothing as we head to the bottom of the first. Welcome back. Gary Cole is 1-0, no ERA. What should we keep an eye on here? 
He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning, Lichtenstein comes out swinging. Hand the ball over to his closer. Waste no time there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And with a four-run lead. Wake it up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. All Cole needs to do is just Next throw strikes. Is in for a strike. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very Whoa, least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next pitch has popped up. Hamilton puts it away, and there's one down. Now batting Key Brian Hayes, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. First pitch, and he just misses. When Cole's brother-in-law, Brandon Crawford, took him deep, Cole signed a pair of spikes for Brandon Crawford, one that said adios pelota, and the other one that said out of here. Yeah, calls by the great John Miller and Dwayne Kuyper of the San Francisco Giants. One, two, bottom of the first. The pitch. Nice Goes pitch. Down looking. Man at first, Tommy Edmond at the plate. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. First offering, and it just misses. He's not bad. That's just funny. missed. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Get there, get there. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Uh, at least he kept and it in front of him. Double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Hey, he doubled up on the off-speed there. We talk about the power of fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's uh -oh. there, it's gone. And that is gone. Suddenly, we got a close game. Christian Yelich. This is second of the year. And suddenly, the Whales are right back in this one. He could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. So Miami has a big first, first inning. Lichtenstein comes back with a big first inning of their own. Swings through that one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next offering is fouled back. Nice pitch. So a very eventful first inning. Blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. Canes lead the Whales. Three ball game. Four to three. Top of the second. Here's Christian Arroyo. Christian's hitting 600 on the year. Christian Arroyo. Final game of a two-game set here in Liechtenstein. To work. And that's outside. Wow. Just a bit outside. We need some Harry Doyle on that one. That should be trouble. Down for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the David Hamilton's batting 400. There aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that, but there's always a little room back behind the first and second base. Jumped on that one, just a regular can of corn to center field. And there's one down. Here's the second baseman, Chase Utley, homer to lead off the ball game. His first homer of the season. And 
Oh, oh rips it down the right field line. That one's going to be just foul. Jumped all over that splitter. And it's going to be a double play. No, he beat it out. Barely. So up next, Joe Carter. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And fouled off. Way late. Now this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. Two outs. Well That's toward the gap. That's trouble. Right off off the, the wall. wall. High off of the wall. That's going to be an RBI double, maybe. He's in there. RBI double for Joe Carter. Utley comes all the way around from first. And the Canes increase their lead 5-3. to Here's Adley Rutschman. Here's the power hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. Rips that one up the middle. Second baseman has it. Lost it. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. So we got first and third now with two outs. Jim Rice now looking to put some insurance on the board. And he rockets one high and deep to left. It's back. It's gone. Jim Rice. Three he run a homer. His second home run of the game. Second of the game, three. third of the that season, 423 the feet. Jim yeah, Rice, a big a blow, and the Canes one. increase their lead here in Liechtenstein. Gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now, Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Lucas Sims. He's so the Kings lead the eight to three now. Here. Here's Raphael Devers. Devers now. Sharp Back up the middle. That's that going to be good for a base hit. Kane's continuing to pound Lichtenstein's pitching staff. So, man aboard, Tristan Casas now at the plate. And he swings and misses, Ooh. and it's nothing at all. He got big eyes on that one. A little inside, though. Kicks and deals. Cuts and misses Oof. as a strikeout. So it's a big inning for the Canes. They now lead eight to three. Thanks. Right here on the three run homer. Thanks it's to Jim Rice. Three. This is GBL Baseball from Wells Park. Back here at the ballpark, here's some real power at the plate. Mark McGuire. You know, Mark McGuire wasn't the only great athlete in his family. His brother Dan played his college football at San Diego State, and he was a first-round pick in the NFL. Since we never heard of him, he obviously didn't amount to anything. The wind the kick the pitch. The wind the kick the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. McGuire Pats goes down misses. on strikes. It's a strikeout. Keston here up to hit now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Really? He was late there, strike one. That was not a good location. Parker, DP at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always nice. count on how he's going to call Bottom it. dropped out of that one. The punch out there, now two out. No, big power guy right Eric Cole there. pitching Jerry a good game. So bat speed. It's this is probably his last batter, though. Committed. He tried to check the swing 
Just couldn't do it. Wilson Contreras stands in now and watches strike one. This guy has turned into one of the best catchers in the game, but was originally signed by the Cubs as an infielder. Yep, he's out of energy. So this will be his final Here batter. Pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 0-2. And down on Got strikes him. he goes. The All right, two finished here side. in Liechtenstein. Canes lead the Wales eight to three. The pitcher on here, Ryan Helsley, and this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Tony Perez digs in now, grounded out his first time up. And a pitch. Helsley measures six feet two inches. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. There's a strike. Mm. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Way out. inside. Come on, Tony. You know, I see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late. Wow. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Matt Bush preparing to come on if needed. And a pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Not a good at bat there, Christian. Here's David Hamilton. He's 0 for 1. Straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Hamilton swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. And the 01. That smash towards center. Right at him. McCutcheon makes the catch. We go to the bottom of the third. Canes lead the Wales by five. As we go to the last of the third. And here's the first baseman. Not a safe situation. Um, we'll go with uh, Batista. Pitching change here. Felix. He's been in two games. He's 1 0. No ERA. And here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. This to third. Come on. Can't come up with it. What a bullshit call. Or bullshit play. This Olay bullshit out there. Jake Taylor would not like that. Damn, dude. Is that Christian Arroyo playing third base? He has no range whatsoever. Who is that? Back-to-back singles. That pretty much split the zone down the middle and... Those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. Sorry, we got a good lead, so we're not worried. Start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. It's a good take. Hit hard, base hit. Get it to third. Throw in, 
Safe at second. Throw is low, and he can't Holy shit, what are you guys doing, man? Jesus Christ. We had a force play at third. You should have thrown it to third from left field. We ended up getting nobody out and give up a run. Holy shit. That was bad news bears type of shit right there. Edmund takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Doubled in his first A.B. Hammered down the right side, but foul. The pitch. On the get two, get two. Might be two. Good feed, that's one. Over to first, nope. safe. It's all right. And now it's Christian Yelich. He had a big three-run homer in his first trip. Yelich. That one's in there, 0-1. On one. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. you got to look for something up in the zone. At worst-case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. Swing nice. and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. First strikeout for him in this one. No, that splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and... That's a good example of the effect. All right, nice play. Canes get the win, sweep the two-game series in Liechtenstein, and improve to 6-0 and in the Global Baseball League. As you could hope for in this type of contest. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shami. We'll see you soon. Jim Rice is your player of the game, two for two, two bombs. Five RBIs. Rafael Devers, two for two with a homer. Chase Utley was one for two with a homer. Joe Carter, one for two with an RBI double. Garrett Cole gets the win. He didn't pitch very good, though. He pitched two innings. Gave up three runs on three hits. He struck out five, but good enough to get the victory. Canes down Lichtenstein. The Whales fall to the Hurricanes, eight to four. Wild game at Wales. Stadium. Cole gets the win. He's 2 0, but look at his ERA 7.36. He needs to get that under control. Hunter Green takes the loss. He's 3 1. His ERA is now 3.34. Canes over the Whales 8 4. Got another pack. Very good. Let's take a look at the progress here. We're working on the Red Sox. Team building there at 1948. Yeah, but everybody else is working on two Yankees are at 21. Joe Carter is 155 of his 200. Somebody finished something. We're at 9% now, which is good. Jim Rice. Jim Rice, he finished his 200 of 200. So we're 9% done with the AL East right now. The Phillies are at 1100. Nationals 155. Tony Perez, he's at 155 of his 200. Chase Utley is at 185 of his 200. He got 55 points that game. Very good. So we're going to keep those guys in the lineup. Jim Rice will stay in the lineup even though he lost um, or he finished his thing because uh, we don't have anybody else really to replace him with. So that's cool. All right. That's going to be it for me for today. No stream tonight. Devils are playing the, uh, I forgot again. Chicago Blackhawks are playing the Blackhawks tonight. And they're playing tomorrow night as well, so no stream tomorrow night. But there'll be a stream during the day. So uh, that's going to do it for me for today. Let's take a look at the standings before I go. The uh, Miami Hurricanes, 6-0. and Tokyo, the Kaiju, they're in second place, 4-2, and two, two games out. The Liechtenstein Whales are 3-3. Three and three. The London Lords are 3-3. Three and three. Those are your playoff spots. The Soul Singers are three and three. The Lima Lemurs are two and four. New Orleans Pinheads two and four, and the Cairo Cats not off to a good start at all. They are one and five. Let's take a look at the stats and see if they have been fixed. Looks like they have. Christian Arroyo is third in the Global Baseball League, He's hitting 778, and the Rutschman fourth at 571. Jim Rice fifth. In the league, he's hitting 500. Earn runs allowed. Luis Severino, the entire, uh, no, not all of them, but Luis Severino, James Paxton, Kenley Jansen, and Felix Bautista, all Hurricanes pitchers, top four in ERA allowed. They are all at zero on base plus slugging. 
Jim Rice is third in the league, 2.3. Adley Rutschman is fourth at 1.9. Home runs. Jim Rice of the Miami Hurricanes leads the Global Baseball League with three home runs. He's tied with several others. Strikeouts. We don't have any pitchers in the top five in strikeouts. Kenley Jansen has one save that's tied for second with many others in the Global Baseball League. And the MVP voting in the GBL has Jim Rice in third, Adley Rutschman in fourth. Pitcher of the year, that would be your Cy Young, Luis Severino, James Paxton, Kenley Jansen, and Felix Bautista, four of the top five pitchers. So this is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the goals. That we have uh, hit 15 home runs. Oh, we're not playing on All-Star, okay. And a single season win 14 games. Uh, we've got six. Record 30 strikeouts with Captain Pitchers. We're at nine. 40 bases with Charisma or Captain. We don't have any. All right, let's see. I guess we can just look at the bottom and see what we got here. The Henchman Hustle. Uh, 10 runs with flashbacks and legends. We got that. That's one of our oh, rewards. Okay, and let's get on base. That is our other pack that we got. Okay, very cool. So the Miami Hurricanes sitting atop the Global Baseball League after six games. Two-game lead over Tokyo. Who are we playing next? Two-game series. Yep, all the series appear to be two games. And we are visiting the Cairo Cats as the next game. So that's pretty cool. I like this. Plus, we get to work on Team Affinity at the same time. So, uh, And uh, along with uh, the experience reward main line. So lots of things get to work on at the same time playing here in the mini seasons. These are very cool. Um, I'm liking these. I'll probably play a little bit later on today a little more without uh, going on camera. Next live stream will be tomorrow during the day. Thank you everybody for joining me. Godspeed. Kim made an appearance too. Thank you uh, to her. Uh, let's see. Vassie was here. Floyd was here. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. I go by memory. I'm not writing it down anymore. There's too many. Too many of you guys popping in. I can't remember all of you and I can't keep stopping to write them down. But I thank you very much. I had some new subscribers. Oh, GGB stopped in. He was a new subscriber. Thank you to him. I'm sorry, it was BBG. And uh, David Ortiz is a new subscriber as well. He did not stop into the stream, but thank you anyway for subscribing. Thank you, everyone who stopped in. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like down below if you liked anything that you saw. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And hit that bell icon down below to turn on all of your notifications. That's important because I have fresh content every single day. And you never know when I'm going to go live. I don't have a regular schedule that I work with. Sometimes I can come on multiple times in a single day. So that way your notifications will help you not miss on a single thing. Uh, also, in case you didn't know, I'm on TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, same name, Scott Stevens Gaming. Hope to see you on there as well. Thank you for joining the stream. I hope you had fun. Uh, be sure and join me tomorrow. I will return and we will continue here with the mini seasons as this seems to be a very uh, cool way and quick way to work through the uh, team affinities, the major reward pack, um, all kinds of we're working on like four different aspects of the game uh, progress wise going through the mini season. So this seems to be a pretty cool way to accomplish a lot at the same time. So going to have a lot of fun with this. It's been fun so far. Thank you everybody for joining me. Uh, Godspeed and Kim. Hope you guys have a fantastic time at WrestleMania today. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.